filming in the Veterans Memorial Park in Ocala, Marion County. Uh, we've come to see the, one of the few remaining Confederate monuments um, before it is destroyed. It has been moved from uh, its location on the courthouse seven years ago to its present location. Um, but we don't know how much longer it will be here. This is just another uh, example, another opportunity, I should say, for me to visit these sites. I've never been to this particular monument. Um, I've been to a lot of the others. Um, but the more and more they disappear, the more I want, you know, the more urgent it becomes to, to, to see them, to view them before they are gone. And to record that they were here and to leave some sort of record honest, truthful record as to why they were torn down and destroyed. We were promised on several occasions recently that they would, that these monuments that were removed would be uh, set up somewhere else, etc., on and on and on, but that was all smoke and nonsense. They were just destroyed. They haven't been returned to public view since they were removed. So, um, while the good people of Marion County still hold sway against the rabble, we will see this monument. Um, again, we have no idea when that will be. The mob has a, a way of just taking over and doing what it wants to do as it, as it dictates. And it doesn't seem to have a system, although of course there is a system, we know that. Um, we're standing in, in the heart of an area that honors its servicemen and honors its history. I had no idea when I came here today or planned to come here today that uh, this veterans park would be so extensive. So we're going to take a look at it as well after we're, we're done looking at this particular monument. Uh, this monument was built in the uh, early 20th century, erected on the courthouse, moved here, moved several times due to the courthouse expansion, and then moved here in 2010 due to rabble rousing um, again it, these things are going to disappear as long as good people allow it if all we do is stand by and say oh my gosh what a shame they're tearing down another monument they're going to keep doing it the government isn't going to stop them we've seen that in recent instances where the police just stood by and watched they were under orders to not to escalate the situation so it was okay to break the law as long as you could keep these people contained and only only breaking that law. And as long as we just stand around and do nothing, these things are going to continue to be destroyed. Our history is going to continue to be destroyed. Our memorials to our ancestors and descendants will be destroyed. It's as simple as that. And anybody that doesn't think it's going to happen is looking through rose-colored glasses and only has to look at the recent past to understand that these things have happened and they will happen. Those monuments that are torn down are not being re-erected on site or anywhere else. They're, they're gone. Those memorials to those men and their sacrifice is gone. So we're going to take a look at this one while it's still here. Here's the uh, historical marker that talks about it. Describes who, when it was put up and who did it and all that. It's facing north. Um, which is a, a common theme in these these uh, Johnny Reb, which just uh, type statues, which just represents the uh, the common soldier. It's not it's not about a, a a general or anything like that. It's just the common guy that left his farm when his when his state and country called, and he's facing north to 
uh, ward off the, the attack of the invader who came down here to press his rules and values on the people of the South. Its fame on brightest pages penned by poets and by sages shall go sounding down the ages. Very neat. It's got a red flag, battle flag. This talks about it being erected in 1908. Dickinson chapter, honor of the heroes of the Confederacy. Confederate, this is pretty cool, go ahead and read this. The South reveres her Washington, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Andrew Jackson, and others who laid the foundations of our grand republic. She honors her Lee, Stonewall Jackson, Stuart Johnson, Forrest, and every brave son who fought to preserve our liberties guaranteed by the fathers under the Constitution. Amen to that. And then here it says uh, 1861 to 1865. And here we have uh, some crossed muskets. CSA. And top by the The rep representation of the soldier. Come over here, try to get a full view of the monument. I think we're able to get it all on one screen. Some good photos of it. We'll go ahead and try to zoom in here statue itself. It's about as close as we can get without just focusing on a certain part. Focus on his face. So that's that. Very, very cool stuff. So we're going to take a look at the, uh, the rest of this Veterans Park. It's pretty astonishing stuff.